good evening and welcome to the state title recap show. I'm Patrick Kamler. Plenty to get to in the next 30 or so minutes as we have three state championship teams to talk about over the course of the next few minutes. Of course, two games being played at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium this afternoon involving two local teams and of course New Bremen playing and winning their state title on Friday and we have highlights and interviews of all three games and who would have thought in a season that was so unprecedented that word being used a lot that the kicking game would be the deciding factor in both state championship contests today. We'll take you out to Van Wert and Coldwater highlights in just a moment. Want to double back if you missed it from Friday and yesterday we had the highlights on WOSN WTLW want to take you back to New Bremen's championship win on Friday. Now this was a program that was considering Getting rid of football as early as 2014 2015 they hired Chris Schmidt as head coach who had won seven games in three seasons at Bell Fountain and what a turnaround it has been for the new Bremen Cardinals ever since then coming off a winning season last season three straight winning seasons and a state championship berth and all that was standing in between them was one more team and that would not be much of an obstacle as we saw on Friday as we get you out to the highlights once again from Paul Brown Tiger Stadium with New Bremen. Cardinals their first appearance in the state championship game in football. They would come through and they would be fired up early in this one. As we get going Mitchell Hayes is going to take it around and getting the first down after the nice pickup out to about the 25 yard line. Not much happening in the first quarter, so we head to the second, and Hayes handing it off to Hunter Schaefer, and Schaefer is going to make some things happen as he takes it all the way in, 45 yards for a touchdown, and that puts New Bremen on the board first, 7-0 in this one. Eagles with the football, looking for the screen pass, JFK getting it out, but Hunter Williams is going to come in, knock the ball loose, and New Bremen's going to have it at around the 35-yard line of JFK, so they're in business. Now Hayes later on the drive. Dropping back to pass. Ball is tipped in the end zone. Nick Fortley for JFK. Coming up with the interception. Big stop by JFK, but unable to do anything with it. Here we head to the third quarter, and it's Hayes finding Schaefer on the screen. And Schaefer, Hunter Schaefer, with the first down out to the 31-yard line. Then it's going to be Hayes keeping it himself on the design quarterback run. He's going to bounce around the outside. You see him leap and dive, hit the pylon. Looks like he's going to be in, but they rule him down at the one yard line. So a little more work to do on this drive and Hayes will go ahead and clean it up. Takes it in for another new Bremen touchdown. 14 nothing Cardinals on top. Later on JFK with the football having trouble with the snap and Wyatt Dickey is right there to jump on top of it. New Bremen only going to get a field goal out of the ensuing drive. So JFK gets it still alive and Hayes coming up with the big stop. The quarterback playing some nice D as well. Speaking of nice D, how about Braxton Kraus getting in the backfield for the huge sack way behind the line of scrimmage. This JFK drive really nowhere to go. So fourth and long, JFK has to punt this one away. And David Homan is waiting at the Tiger around the 50 yard line. Follows his blockers, makes a couple guys miss, and he is gone 50 yards to the house for a special teams touchdown for New Bremen. Make it up 24 nothing at this point. So into the fourth quarter now. JFK looking to make the pass. Instead, there's going to be the sack. Dan Homan coming up with the big time sack. Next play, JFK looking to pass, and it looks like they're going to have the completion, but Kyle Tankman coming in there, laying the lumber and breaking the pass up. Later on in the fourth quarter, it's Hayes. Once again, look at Dan Homan, diving catch, leaps for it and puts New Bremen up 31 to nothing at this point. That gets the running clock going and then a final defensive play. Dan getting in the backfield again, another sack. And for New Bremen, their first state title Football-wise, in school history, they defeat Warren and JFK 31-0. Plenty of reactions in this one. I didn't know what to think. Uh, we've been so used to kind of coming down to the end, and for you know a while there, we missed that opportunity in the uh, you know first half to score and, and, and go up a, a, you know some more points. And I, you know, that's there's some calls there I would like to have back. Um, um, really across the board today, I don't know that I really called a great game offensively, but our, our team played lights out across the board and made some big special teams plays, and it was good to get that, uh, that uh, gap there, I guess. Um, I thought early on we, we were able to settle in, and then 
you know, obviously we made some plays offensively. I think that really got our defense excited to, to you know, keep it rolling, I guess. And, and not just, you know, compete with the best teams in the state, but try to beat the best teams in the state. And it was their leadership and just, uh, I don't know, their competitiveness that just to kind of at times willed us to continue to move forward. It's, it's a special group. It's a special team. Um, and I feel tremendously blessed with all the kids that I've been able to coach here in the time here. And uh, uh, this is for all of them and the community. You know, just to get out in front early and at half, we talked to each other, got, got ready because we left points on the board. So, uh, you know, we got 24 in that second half, and that was crucial. It kind of shows who, where we've gotten in this program. You know, these seniors, very talented. Um, we got 16 seniors, just guys that wanted to work day in and day out, and it, it showed today, it showed all through the playoffs. We faced adversity, and, you know, there's no better feeling than winning a state championship. I appreciate Cardinal Nation, you know, with COVID and all this going on right now. I mean, this many people here, it, it's a beautiful thing. It just shows how connected and joined this town is. It's amazing. Uh, being a senior, we had to put on all the work, and it's just, it's really a blessing to be out here with all my brothers like, on the field, and I'm glad we could bring it up for our community and everybody watching. Well, we knew how to bring it. They're a good team, and we did bring it. It means a lot, and I'm just glad we got this championship. Oh. So I give it all to the O-line. The O-line was blasting holes open so I could, I could easily run through it. All that stress from the wondering if we're going to win or lose, just knowing this game didn't really, didn't really feel that stress. It uh, felt great knowing that we were the first team in Bremen history to ever win state and everyone deserves it on this team. We've worked hard since day one and it just feels amazing. It's hard to put into words. Um, it's been such a magical year, and, and obviously you know that we made history either way, but we, we really wanted to finish it out with a W, and uh, to be able to do that is obviously special. You know, uh, uh, every fan I think that could come out here uh, from New Bremen came out here today, and it's just uh, an awesome atmosphere. I'm glad we got a chance to come here to Massillon. And uh, yes, you're right, it really hasn't sunk in yet, but uh, um, we'll have a fun bus ride home, so maybe it w will then. The victors got quite the welcome upon their return to New Bremen late Friday night. Fans lined up to see the team buses return to town and were also greeted with a nice fireworks show. Congratulations to the Division 7 state champion, New Bremen Cardinals. The Van Wert Cougars also had a shaky middle of the decade. The 2016 team went 0 and 10 and have been building back up ever since. When the 2018 squad made the playoffs, it felt like a sign of things to come. Taking a step backward in 2019 at six and four and missing the playoffs, head coach Keith Drecker just had a good feeling about this upcoming season. Of course, no one, including the head coach, could have predicted exactly how great this season would be for Van Wert. And I know because I asked him, but Van Wert, on the cusp of their first ever state championship today as they took on Mentor Lake Catholic for the Division IV state championship. The Cougars fired up taking the field as they were ready to go. Drew Johnson, very ready to go. He was fired up this entire day. Van Wert with the ball first. Owen Treats is gonna keep it here for the first down. Does a nice job keeping the foot in bounds and Zach Keith avoiding trouble as well and not getting knocked down. Van Wert going for it on fourth and two here, but the late Catholic defense coming up with the big stop, able to keep them out of the end zone. On the punt block later on, it is Drew Johnson getting the block and setting up Van Wert very nicely. However, unable to get anything there. Then late Catholic, Nick Brandt hitting Brady Bowser in the corner, near the corner for a touchdown. Late Catholic goes on top first seven to nothing. Now Van Wert, Looking to answer, Treese throwing it up, and Connor Pratt, nice job coming back for it. Gets down at the two-yard line. And then, a couple plays later, Treese looking for Maddox Crutchfield. Crutchfield makes the adjustment, gets it in the end zone. Touchdown, that ties it up at seven. Back with the ball are the Cougars. They get it back. Treese scrambling, throws it up. You'll see it here in just a second. Scrambling in trouble. Does a nice fake there. Looks like he's going to throw it up. He does, and Joe Mikelski, the late Catholic quarterback, coming up with the interception there to get it back for his guys. And then capping off a nice drive for late Catholic. Ryan Joy capping it off 14-7 to at this point. They get it back again. This time, Malcheski tries keeping it, but Drew Johnson is there, not letting him go anywhere. So we'll flip it 
And Malczewski gets another chance and right up the middle and barely touched as he goes all the way in for the 55-yard touchdown, 21-7 Lake Catholic. The Lake Catholic Cougars in business, but Owen Treese and the Cougs of Van Wert trying to come back. In trouble here, scrambling around and is going to find Crutchfield who makes the catch and is going to stretch out. Looks like he has the touchdown. If you'll see the signal initially, but instant replay, instant replay used in the state championship game overrules it, but no problem, says Owen Treese. He finishes off the drive to bring Van Wert to within 7, 21, 14. Now to the fourth. Treese looking deep for Pratt and has him again, and this time takes it in. No problem for the touchdown. Pratt with six catches, 106 yards in the game today, and that ties this one up at 21. But Lake Catholic not going away. Malcheski keeping it here, and he's going to go around the corner, around a couple of defenders, and he is gone. Touchdown to put them back on top. 219 yards rushing today for the Lake Catholic quarterback. Now Van Wert would answer. Treese once again forced to scramble. In that one spot of the field, throws it up, and this time Nate Jackson coming down among the crowd with the ball, and we are tied once again at 38. So. 13 seconds remaining. First field goal attempt of the season, and Damon McCracken nails it. 31-28, the Van Wert Cougars are your state champions. A very emotional Drew Johnson and team holding up Van Wert's first state championship in football, the first state title for the WBL since Kenton did it back in 2001-2002. Our kids have put in so much work uh, and our community has done so much to help us get to this point. So, uh, so happy they get a re get rewarded for this. Well, I, things didn't look good there at 21 to seven and, and our guys just continue to, to play every play. And that's what we talk about changing your best uh, every play and they continue to play and uh, keeping your composure and, and just uh, love the fight that they showed today. Oh, man, that was, uh, I can't even explain it. I mean, just to, to, from, again, where we were at 21 to seven to now tie it up 28-28, uh, to get that was just, just huge, obviously. Uh, there was a lot of pressure on the moment, but every time out we had, my teammates tried to comfort me in the huddle. That helped a lot with that. So they, they helped me feel comfortable up there to get it through. A couple times, yeah, it, that's what it, about every kicker dreams of right there. This team just knows how to fight. When it's time to go, I mean, we come together and we just find a way to win because we've been doing it all year. This team, I want to train for the world. This is one of the best teams I've ever been a part of. This community is awesome for all of these guys to come together just for a football team. It's just crazy how impactful we are for the community. You know, I've had a lot of, I've dealt with a lot of stuff over this last year. Uh, nobody but my, me and my family, a little bit of my team and God know what I've been through. So, you know, it got to the point where I almost gave up on this. I almost gave up on this dream, but you know, God told me I got to come back, so I came back, and and we won the state championship. So, I I just I can't I, I don't even know how to verbalize it, man. It's just it's just a heck of a feeling. No sir, wait, that's not no. It's been 109 years of never being able to get one of this gold trophy. So this year, this team that we backing down wasn't an option. So. No matter if we were down by 14, by 21, by 80, by 300, I don't care. We weren't going to back down. We were going to take that gold home. And take it home is exactly what they did. A raucous scene at Van Wert tonight. The state champs coming home. Huge victory. Division four state champs tonight in Van Wert. Well, if New Bremen and Van Wert are the new kids on the block, so to speak, then Coldwater are the KG veterans when it comes to state. They know all the good places to eat, where to stay, that hotel, not that one, and what to do after you win. However, for the Cavaliers, it's been a little bit of a drought. This senior class, the class of 21, is the only class since 1995 to have not made it to a state title game. That streak, of course, came to an end with their Division VI championship matchup. Tonight, would they be able, after a 24th consecutive season in the playoffs, to win their fifth state title in the last 15 years? Coldwater ready for the final championship game this weekend. The nightcap 
at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, and they would get going, not messing around. Miles Blazing game going deep to Zach McKibben, makes the stretch with the arms, and he's going to take it to the house. And just like that, 7 0 Coldwater on top. But Springfield would answer. Bo Brungart takes a shot of his own to Nick Slyke, and Slyke all alone. Puts it in, and this one is tied at seven. Second quarter now, and Brungard getting it done on the ground as he's going to keep it, and he is going to go all the way. 52 yards for the touchdown in Springfield. Gamers tonight, they take the lead 14-7. to seven. Coldwater coming back now as Blazingame finds Tyler Schwederman over the middle, lays out, makes the nice catch. Then it's Blazingame with a short pass to McKibben, and McKibben takes it in for the touchdown back and forth we go Coldwater on top after a Springfield fumble Blazing game punches it in at the goal line with 48 seconds remaining in the half as we move to the third quarter now and McKibben gets the handoff and a big pickup here making some guys miss we've seen him do this a lot throughout the season finally he is brought down then it's Marcel Blazing game getting the handoff but he's going to fumble it Right there, and Springfield jumps on top of it for the recovery. So back on offense, and Brungard doing it again. Another long touchdown. And this one is all knotted up, but Blazing Game answering. You know what? Miles showing the footwork as well. He can run too. He takes off from just outside the 45, and he is gone. Touchdown, Coldwater to tie this one back up once again. Back and forth we go, to the fourth we go. Brungard, his turn, going up the middle, touchdown. This one ties it up at 28. Springfield forcing a three and out by Coldwater and Brungard once again takes off down the sideline and he is gone and the Tigers take the lead with 2.44 to go. But Coldwater not done yet. Blazing game. Looking deep. Schwederman got it through two defenders at end of the end zone. Ties it up. Then Springfield toward the end of the game. Forced to punt. McKibben back to field it. Makes a guy miss. Goes the opposite side. Breaks a tackle. And is he going to go? He could go all the way. Nothing but green grass in front of him, and then he is pushed out of bounds with eight seconds left. So Brady Klingjern steps in, nailing the field goal and giving Coldwater the 38-35 win for the Cavaliers. It is their seventh state title in the last 15 years, their first since 2015, and what a relief for head coach Chip Otten and company. It feels great. And I was telling somebody else that for me at this point in my career um, it, it's seeing seeing these seniors who hadn't been to the state finals and, and feeling maybe like gosh we're we're not as good as all those other teams and now they can and they're undefeated so anytime you go undefeated um, uh, that, that, that's special but to see them be so happy and see our coaches Joe Hewer is a, is a great coach for us who's been at some other places and and since he's been here he's the only one of us who didn't have a state title and so for him, it's uh, you know it's it's great to see everybody and all the parents. I got you know I know all these parents and the seniors' parents, and so to see them have so much fun and celebrate, and it's just just it's awesome. We'll be home. We'll be home tonight, and and uh, I just thank everybody for the support. I'm very fortunate to be in Coldwater and and coaching the Cavs, and uh, you know there's been so much support with all our sports and in school and. And, uh, you know, Jason Wood is running the show, and Jason Hemmelgarn is our high school principal. Those two are really, really close guys that, that love school, and but they love sports too. And so it's just a, you know, it's a community that you, that you want to live in, and, and that's, that's, where, that's where I'll be for the rest of my life. Well, <laughs> to be honest with you, at the end of it, I'm like, I can't believe you didn't score, can you? And, and save us all the grief there at the end, but just jokingly. But, you know, really we were just – we didn't even have our punt return team out there because we wanted to play safe, and 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 we were fortunate, I guess, happy to think we we're going to just go to overtime. So, but man, he makes he's he's done it all year. He makes some incredible plays. You can make a highlight tape just with Kibby uh, this year, and so just just fun stuff to to see that happen. And, and I guess I feel terrible for them, unfortunately, because they played a great game. And, but I guess somebody's got to win, right?
Can't explain it. I'm so happy for this group of guys. I mean, we've been through it all, and we uh, finally went out and did it. It feels awesome. The support all year has been great. Um, the fans are awesome. They're loyal, and uh, we look forward to them seeing and watching us play all the time. We put on the show for them. I saw it in the air, and I was about to just let it go, but I saw the time. I was like, might as well try to turn it into something, and took off. Saw open space and just busted as hard as I could. Got in the field goal range for the team. Knew our kicker was going to drill it. Worked out perfect, yep. I'm just so happy to bring another one back to the MAC and community. We haven't brought one back in five years, and here we are. Yeah, was, back in the summer, we didn't know if we were even going to have a season. And we just kept busting in and asking our coaches every day, are we going to have a season? Is this going to be worth it? And here we are standing here, state champs, so it was worth it. Oh, yeah, we practice it every day. In practice, he knows that something big will happen in the special team, so we practice it every day. I feel amazing. You know, we haven't been in, our class hasn't been here yet, and we knew we wanted to come here and win it, and it just feels really amazing. Indeed, what a celebration it has been, and it is going to be tonight for our three state championship teams for New Bremen and Van Wert, their first in school history for Coldwater, their seventh. And if you talk to the coaches that have won, quite a few of them, like Chip Otten, they'll tell you that all of them are to be appreciated. Once again, WOSN, WTLW, WNHO, congratulate New Bremen, Coldwater, and Van Wert on their state titles. What a joy and a privilege it is to cover your athletic programs, especially your football teams, and especially this year. That's gonna wrap up our state title recap show. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us here on WOSN. I'm Patrick Hamler. You enjoy the rest of your evening.